Hi there. In this video, we're going to leverage our policy enforcement. Right now, our policy is only filtering traffic based on IP and port number. If we look at this rule, number five, it says that our internal network can go anywhere as long as it's going through these ports, HTTP, HTTPS, and ICMP ports. The problem with this rule is that we don't know if our employees are accessing YouTube at working time or they're browsing through a, a porn website. So we don't see this detail. Okay. So in order to take more visibility into this traffic, uh, we're going to create some policies using the application control and url filtering that we have already enabled plus we're going to enable also the content awareness the content and awareness feature allow us to filter based on the document type whether we are downloading uh, images pdf or whether we are sending sensitive information over the internet over the internet like uh, your credit card information or anything related to your bank account things like that okay or even to download or upload some type of files and to enable it we're going to our gateway properties and we have a red application url filtering enabled and what we want is to enable content awareness blade and we'll press ok and we have to create uh, the rules that we, go, we that we want to be enforced. So right now we are on filtering based on HTTP and HTTPS. So we have to create the, these additional rules. And we can do it in either two ways. We can add an additional layer or we can create what is called an inline layer. Okay. So if we were to create an inline layer, we would have, for instance, let's grab rule number five and here at accept right click and it will show me this, this window and I get to choose new layer. And here I have to type a name and say which blades I want enabled in this layer. Or what we can also do is by going to mention policies and layers and we want to edit this package and here we are going to choose a new layer okay as you can see this is the same window that we saw previously and here we get to type the name and I'm going to call just application and URL up uh, URL and content and what I want to be enabled here will be just application URL filtering and content awareness and the default implicit cleanup rule I want it to accept I don't want it to be dropped I want it to accept and I think that's it okay and we press OK and it it's going to be added. And we should see an additional layer in our policy package. OK. And uh, the action still drop. OK, and we have to change this to accept. And I don't need to log this type of track. OK, so we have enabled the feature. We added an additional layer. Now we have to specify, okay, which type of traffic we're going to filter. So I'll add an additional one. So for instance, streaming and can be from any source towards the internet. And I can just select internet for services and applications. For streaming, we have YouTube, we just select 
couple ones okay we have youtube and probably we want as well and we want to drop and to send a message to the user whenever this happens and we want to log this traffic as well going to add another rule below and this can be for chat i'll just call chat so things like skype uh, uh skype let me see tiktok uh instagram instagram and okay facebook as well okay we want to drop and send a message to the user and i want to see this traffic and for those who like to see also uh, major contents in the company we can also filter these and there is a category for that and i'll call just waste of bandwidth bandwidth and i can just drop these here and here and i believe that's pornography yeah pornography and and if i want i can even specify one that isn't listed there and let me see if we can add custom application and for instance uh, let me say playboy site and here we select playboy.com custom application additional categories no i think that should do it and we want to drop and also want to see a message probably and we can change this again instead of just dropping we want the user to confirm whether he really wants to access this and i want to see this traffic as well and for sensitive information like uh credit card information i can add another one and you can say sense info and this is going to internet from vpn can be any type of traffic and here what i want i believe that's pci card numbers or even uh, if, uh yes and they're going to be dropped as well and i want to see this log and for things like uh downloads it also not categorized and here we can specify things like um, see executable files uh, credit card numbers media so you there is a lot that you can choose from so I just select message and of this okay <clears throat> perfect is okay now we can install this policy 
and actually before that let, let's test to see what's the result right now and i don't want it to store in cache so let's first confirm that everything is working just fine and youtube and Okay, so Facebook still is already logging. Um, this must be related to my DNS. Okay, so Facebook is opening, that's great, and probably. Mm. And I believe that's xvideos.com. So probably this one is going to open so you can leave it right now. Okay, but we, we see that it's working. Facebook okay, even Facebook is working. Okay, that's right. So let's install the policy. And then we're going to look at the results. Okay. Okay, and installation was successful. And before we start testing, I want to see the logs. Where is my window? Should be okay. Let's open another one. And let's filter just for our Host machine. Okay. And let's start out this and I want auto scroll as well. So we get to see it almost in real time. Okay, so let's start with YouTube. And bam, so I was denied. That's great. And what does it say? Oh, page is being blocked. Okay. And we can see HTTPS inspection. Okay, let me see this one. Just that. So this auto scroll sometimes is helpful, sometimes not so helpful. Okay, let's proceed with Facebook. Also block and xvideos.com. Also block. And you see here the message is different because we're not dropping but we want the user to confirm whether he really wants to access these and we can also confirm this i'm going to disable this and let's see the last one trusted certificate the final rule So 
Okay, it's hitting. Oh no, this is our queen of four. So that's not what I want. Oh, it's here. Okay. Mm. Magic moves. Yes, ways to bend it. Ask user, and this is the message we saw. And it was allowed. Okay, so that's pretty much it. And give it a try, play with it, and let me know what you think. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.